welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I am so excited for today's video. I am sharing with you a WW friendly meal that is made from all whole food, real ingredients, 99% organic and from Costco. And we are using oil, avocado oil to season our vegetables. This dinner was so filling, nutrient dense, and absolutely delicious. If you have not seen my video that I shared this last week where I talked about the changes that I'm making to what I am eating and how I'm switching over to clean food, organic, whole food, definitely check it out. I'll link it down in the description box below. But let's jump right into this recipe because it was absolutely positively delicious. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind for tonight's clean eating dinner, we are going to be making crispy quesadillas. Now, most of what I'm gonna be showing you is clean eating. There were a couple of things that I already had on hand that I'm going to be using up, so it may not have the cleanest ingredients, but overall, we've got a healthy, delicious, well-rounded dinner. So let me show you what is in our crispy quesadillas. First, you're going to need some salt and pepper. Taco seasoning, again, not the best ingredients in this, but you can see it's almost gone, and then I'm actually going to be making my own. Avocado oil, black beans and whole kernel corn, tomato paste, some type of wrap for the quesadilla. Again, not the best ingredients, not terrible in these tomorrows, but not the best. I have found a couple alternatives, but this is literally a brand new package, so I wanna use these up. Trader Joe's light shredded three cheese blend. We have quite a few spices. I'm gonna be doing minced onion versus whole onion only because I want the onion pieces really small in my quesadilla. Oregano, garlic powder, and then all my veggies, I'm gonna be putting my Dax green zest. Again, the best seasonings, no salt, all natural, no MSG. Great if you watch your salt, great before weigh-in. This green zest is amazing on vegetables. It's amazing on everything, but amazing on vegetables. Again, my code here on the screen gives you 10% off and free shipping. They have over 20 seasonings, so check them out. And then for meat, we're gonna be doing this organic grass-fed 93.7 extra lean ground beef. And then I'm gonna roast some veggies. I have some mixed organic squash from Costco. I'm gonna slice up a yellow and a green. I've got some leftover butternut squash that's organic from Costco and some organic leftover baby bells, bellas from Costco as well. So we're gonna roast all those up and that's dinner guys. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So we just got a little bit of chopping to do. Our squash is already cut up, but I'm gonna slice the squash and I'm also gonna chop my mushrooms in half. We're gonna add them right here to our sheet pan, season them, get them some olive oil spray, and we're ready to start roasting these veggies. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger, a willing and able to do what you want. You think I'm so everything is on our sheet pan. Doesn't this look so good? So what I'm going to do is give it a quick spray with some avocado spray just right over the top. That's just going to kind of help the seasonings stick to the veggies. It's not going to add any additional points, but it'll really help with everything sticking. And then, of course, I have my green zest from Dax, which, like I said, you guys, if you're looking for an all-over veggie seasoning that literally goes with every vegetable and just enhances the flavor tremendously for no salt, highly recommend this, highly, highly recommend. And great clean ingredients as well. And then of course I am going to add just a little bit of salt over the top just to help bring out those flavors. And then just a tiny little bit of pepper right over the top as well. And then these are ready to go into the oven at 425 until they're roasted through and then we'll start on our quesadillas. So to start our quesadillas, I've added my one pound of ground beef to my skillet. I'm gonna add some seasoning. So first I'm gonna add some oregano and the recipe actually calls for Mexican oregano. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I just had regular, so that's what I am gonna be using. And then I'm also going to add some garlic powder to my meats. And then we're gonna add in just some salt and pepper as well and again, just a quick little sprinkle right over the top of each of those. 
And then lastly, we're gonna add approximately two tablespoons of taco seasoning. And we are just going to let this cook down until our hamburger is just about browned. And then we're gonna add in that minced onion. Once your hamburger starts to brown, this is where you'd add in either minced onion or regular onion, whatever you were gonna be using in your quesadilla. And we're gonna let this cook down for just a few more minutes or until our hamburger is cooked all the way through. Once the hamburger is brown, we're gonna go ahead and add in about two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're gonna also add two tablespoons of water to kind of thin out that tomato paste. And then we're gonna stir this all together and let this simmer for just about another minute or so. Once everything has been cooking another minute or so, I drained my black beans and my corn. Oh, welcome to being a dog mom. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to our mix here and just stir that up. Our veggies are just about done, so we're gonna get started on the quesadilla. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some nonstick cooking spray and spray the bottom of our pan. We're gonna put our tortilla down on that, and then I measured out one quarter cup of the light cheese. I'm going to put half of that down on the quesadilla, and then we're gonna save the other half to put on top once we add the meat mixture. Here is our meat and corn mixture. We're gonna add one eighth of this directly to our tortilla. Yum, and then we're gonna add the other half of our cheese right on top, and then we're just gonna fold over this half over here and kind of push it down as it melts. It'll keep it together when the cheese melts. So that will be what actually holds it all together. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and let this cook down until it's nice and crispy. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have one of my quesadillas here. It is seven smart points on the blue plan. The rest of the points will be here on the screen. Some roasted veggies for zero. And I'm going to put some of this honest stand plant-based dairy-free mild nacho dip on my quesadillas. This stuff is so good. It's way better than regular queso, but still has those queso flavorings. Two tablespoons, one smart point. So I'm just gonna measure out two tablespoons on top of my quesadilla. Thank you for joining me on the first video with clean eating, whole foods, all the good things, recipes. I hope you enjoyed seeing tonight's dinner. It was absolutely delicious, affordable, clean, and great in Smart Points. I will be linking the recipe and what I used down below for you guys. I guess it really wasn't a recipe, but I'll link all of the ingredients that I used down in the description box for you guys, as well as all of the links and discount codes on some of my favorite things, and of course, the link to come on over and join my Facebook group. So definitely head over and join us there for more ideas, recipes, support and really truly just a lot of fun if you're new to my channel welcome i'd love it if you'd take a moment hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded you definitely don't want to miss out give this video a thumbs up if you love this new clean eating whole foods approach and comment down below let me know are you going to give tonight's recipe a try because it was really good my husband loved 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 it in fact we had the leftover roasted veggies the next day and they were seriously equally as delicious. So thank you guys so much for watching and of course I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!